to my channel or if you are new here for the first time and then hello welcome in today's video i am filming a christmas decor haul for you guys i've picked up a couple things within the last few weeks for this holiday season when i start decorating my home which is so soon i'm actually going to be putting up my christmas tree this weekend which i will film of course for you to see how i do that I will try to link as much as I can in the description box down below for you. So if you see something in today's video that you like, make sure to check down there. And if you don't see a link, please let me know in the comments and I will go ahead and link it if I can. For the Christmas season this year, I'm going to be keeping all of our decor very neutral, which I usually do in our everyday decor as well. So I just wanted to preface this video with that. I am trying to incorporate some new tones into our Christmas decor this year, which I'm very excited about. So I hope that you are very excited for my Christmas content this year. Thank you so much for being here. I have so many fun videos coming in the near future. So if you are not already, please make sure to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. The link is always linked down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to start with the things that I picked up from Walmart. If you haven't checked out the Walmart Christmas decor, they have some really good finds. I am so impressed with all of their decor for the holiday season. So as I said, I am going with a new theme for our Christmas tree, and I'm so excited to see how it turns out. I hope that it turns out well, which you guys will see come to life in another video. So the first thing that I got is this 18 feet ribbon. This is a really pretty emerald green velvet ribbon. So this is what it looks like. I plan on using this to weave in and out of some of the tree, which I did last year with another ribbon. They did only have one at my Walmart, so I do plan on trying to get another one because I don't think this is going to be enough, but I wanted to pick it up just for now. The next thing that I picked up from Walmart is some ornaments. I again don't think that this is going to be enough, but I just picked up one so I could see if I even liked them on the tree. So once we get them on and I see if I like them or not, we will go back and get another one. So this was $34.98. There's a lot of coppers, emerald greens, blacks. I just love this combination so much and they are just so beautiful. So we shall see. I'm hoping my vision comes to life, but you guys will have to let me know. Make sure to keep an eye out that Christmas decorate with me of our Christmas tree should be up within the week or so. I did also get a tree collar for our new Christmas tree from King of Christmas, which I would bring over here, but it is a giant tree and it's very heavy. So you will see that in the decorate with me here in the next few days or a week. So this is like a natural woven tree color. I have one already, but I wanted to get another one because it is my favorite. This was the only one left at Walmart and they didn't have a tag on it or anything, but thankfully we were able to find it online. This was $23, so pretty affordable. They did have a tree skirt to match this like emerald green velvet ribbon, but it was, I want to say $44, which was a little out of my budget, so I didn't pick it up. I think this will go really well with the theme that I'm trying to go for. I did also pick up this garland. It is a six foot garland, $27.88. And this is definitely a very realistic garland. It feels real, looks real. And I plan on putting this on our mantle, on our fireplace. One of the girls I follow over on Instagram, Christina, her username is our faux farmhouse, I believe. I will link her Instagram below. So that is all that I picked up from Walmart. I'm going to move on to the few things that I picked up from Target. The first thing being from the Hearth and Hand collection, this is their bell garland and this was $12.99. I had never seen this before, but I plan on using this on our mantle by our fireplace and kind of intertwining this with our garland. I love the bronze bells in there. So again, just an idea, not sure if it's actually going to turn out the way that I want it to, but we shall see. Next, I picked up some of these picks. These were $5 and I got two of them. They are so pretty and they have these blue berries on them, which I thought was a nice little touch. I have very similar ones to these that I got last year, but they don't have the berries. So this is the one that I got last year. 
and here is this year's. So a little bit different, but I thought that these would still go well together if I needed to add some more volume to a vase or something. I did also pick up this little arrangement from Hearth and Hand. It was $4.99. They have two different sizes, and I just got this little baby one. I absolutely adore how simple and dainty it is. I thought this would be pretty on like a little bookshelf in our office, just a nice tiny little accent for Christmas time. I did stop by the dollar spot area and picked up these little mini ornaments. I am going to use these for our Christmas tree that we got at Ikea, which I will show you guys next, but I really like the colors of these. They have like the emerald green in there and the copper color. So I thought that would go great with our theme we're going for this year. Next, we are moving on to Ikea. We went there couple weekends ago and they had some of their Christmas stuff out and I could not resist this beautiful tree. So this is what the tree itself looks like. I just loved this tree the second that I saw it and it was paired with this really pretty pot. So I decided to pick this up as well. So it's just this nice nude brown color and the tree fits perfectly in here. So I thought it was a nice little touch and perfect for this tree. The pot, I can't even remember how much it was. I believe the tree was around 10 or 12 and the pot was seven. Again, I will try to link it down below for you if you are interested. I absolutely love this and I feel like it's a nice little accent you can add anywhere around your house. I did pick up a throw blanket from Ikea as well. I believe this was $14. Love the color of it. It's a nice green color. It does have some fringe on it as well. So I plan on putting this either on our couch or in any of our baskets that we have around the house. I feel like you can never have too many throw blankets, especially when styling. I also wanted to share with you the items that I got from the Habitation Box. Now, if you've never heard me talk about them before, they are a home decor subscription service that ships home decor to your house every single month and they have the absolute cutest stuff. I've posted about them here on my YouTube channel and Instagram in the past and I just absolutely adore the owner, Kelly. She's so sweet. So I wanted to include the items that I got in the December box in today's video for you. If you are interested, I will leave it linked down below for you as well. I highly, highly recommend it. It is such a great deal and it gives you a lot of new decor for the season. The first thing that came in the box is these beautiful three white ceramic trees. There is three different sizes, this being the largest size, then there is a medium size. Love the detailing that is on these ceramic trees as well. And then this is the smallest one. So you can kind of see them next to each other. This is the size difference. You can use these in so many different places of your home. I have styled them already and I just cannot get enough of them. These are hands down my favorite thing in the box for December. I am so excited to put these around our house this year. They're definitely along with my neutral love for the holidays. Next up is this beautiful reindeer that came in the box. I absolutely love how simple it is. This item can also be used in so many different spaces in your office, living room, or even kitchen. You could even put it on some shelving in your bathroom. The options are totally endless with a lot of these items that come in the box. It did also come with these three wooden trees. There's three different sizes, again, in three different prints. The little baby one is kind of hiding there, but these are so perfect for the Christmas season. You can even separate them if you don't want to use all three. It did kind of come tied with them all together like this, which I think is another great option if you wanted to style them with them sitting in front of each other. That is another option. It did also come with a Merry Christmas sign, which I love these. I don't put a ton of wording up for the season, but this is definitely something that I would put up in my decor. I will be posting some reels over on my Instagram of how I styled these items. So if you would like to see that, make sure to check out my Instagram link. It is in the description box down below. There was also a garland in the December box, which I absolutely love. It's a light flocked garland with some pine cones. 
I have styled this over on my mantle already and absolutely love it. You can use this on a console table, even on your dining table for a nice tablescape, but this will definitely be great for styling around our house. Again, the thing that I love about Habitation Box is that you can use every single item in so many different places in your home and you can reuse a lot of them as well. The last thing that came in the box is this Star Garland. So this is what the stars look like. I actually styled this over on my mantle by my fireplace and I layered this kind of hung on the mantle and used the garland as well. So again, if you guys are interested in checking out Habitation Box for yourself, the link will be in the description box down below. Now the last two things that I picked up are from Hobby Lobby. I got this candle and I absolutely love the way that it smells. I've actually never gotten a candle from Hobby Lobby. So we will see if you guys have gotten one before, let me know how you liked it. So this was 50% off, so it was $9.99. I love the coloring and the detailing on the actual candle. Love the gold top as well. And again, it smells so yummy. So the scent is called Spice Pomander, I think is how you say it. It smells like Christmas in a candle. If you guys need a good Christmas candle, definitely check this one out. And for $9.99, this is 17 ounces, so in my opinion, I think it's a great deal. I don't know if it actually emits a lot of smell or not, but I will keep you guys posted over on my Instagram or I will let you know in the comments down below as I start burning it. The last thing that I got from Hobby Lobby and for this haul is some candlesticks. These were $7.99, again, 50% off of that. So just typical white candlesticks I plan on putting in our little candle holders that we have. I've never actually gotten candlesticks to put in there, so I thought for Christmas it might be a nice little touch. I do want to get some from Amazon that are the electric candlesticks, which I think are fantastic, especially because these I feel like just drip wax and that's not fun for anyone. That is going to conclude this Christmas decor haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you saw anything that you liked in today's video, everything that I can will be linked down below for you. And if you are not already, please make sure to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. I would love to have you guys over there. Thank you so much for watching today's video and supporting my channel. I truly appreciate it. Hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.